trying to connect to the live stream. Hopefully, if anybody can see me, hear me, let me know. I can't seem to um, connect to it for some reason. Hello. If anybody is here, please let me know. I'm just trying to um, find myself <laughs> and connect so that I can see everything on the um, on under the screen. Oh, there we go. Okay, I've got myself here. Hello, everybody. Um, how is everybody doing? Um, I'm doing a little impromptu live stream tonight. Um, I really want to make a earring holder for myself. Um, I, I don't know. I wanted to make something tonight. Um, something easy and simple. And since I haven't done anything on this channel for a while, uh, I wanted to do a live stream earlier this week. But it didn't happen, so um, I needed to... I need to do something, <laughs> I need to create, um, and I was going to do the skull earlier this week, um, but I'm really feeling the, um, what do you call it, the earring frame tutorial thing, tutorial, earring frame, um, DIY thing, I've um, seen them being done like lots of times before. Um, I've not attempted one of these before myself, so it's going to be interesting. Hi, Diana. Hello, Wasan. Hi, Wasan from Kuwait. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I know how we say it in Russian. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi, Daniela. Austria. Wow. Hello. How are you? Okay, so I am going to tilt the camera. Um, I'm streaming from my phone today, so I can actually adjust you guys so that you can see my desk properly. Um, and we will kind of get started and I'll um, show what we're doing. So I'm going to tilt this. I don't know if I twist my phone this way. I know on Facebook it does the trick where it shows you um, everything from the right angle, or have I just, have I just twisted it around backwards? Is it backwards now? Or is it the right way around? I don't know. Um, hang on. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Eileen. How are you? Good. Yes, I'm good. Thank you very much. Okay, so you are the right way around. Okay, so I'm going to turn it this way. I'll see if I can lower everything down a little bit. Um, I'm still figuring out the setup um, on my desk here now that I have this this like new thing going on here. So anyways, I have this frame, um, a photo frame. Oh, sorry. What is going on there? Something popped up on my screen on the phone. Right, okay, so I have this um, old photo frame um, and I'm gonna use this as a base for my earring um, holder. So I've seen these things on Pinterest and there's um, loads of different ways that people do them. So uh, you repaint the frame and some people just paint everything and leave it as is. Some people like decoupage it or like put fabric um, on it. And then there's lots of different ways how they um, create the actual part that holds the earrings. So some people um, use like strings, some people use lace and they like kind of glue it down and um, you just hang the earrings into the holes where the lace is. Um, some people um, use uh, mesh um, or like um, burlap fabric and you just kind of hook your earrings into the burlap um, fabric. Now my idea is, so we're going to repaint the frame, we're going to decoupage the inside, so I prepared um, some medium weight chipboard to replace this bit, not replace but to put it um, on the inside um, and then we're going to decoupage 
this decoupage queen paper on top. This is um, teal harlequin from the latest release. Um, this is a rice paper, beautiful rice paper. I absolutely love this um, color. Well, you guys know I love teal everything. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna be um, using that. And then I think I'm gonna use these um, chains so i have some chains left over from um from a project and i think i'm gonna just kind of snip them up and then i either i'm either gonna use pins to pin them into here into these bits or i'm gonna use these little um hook things screw in hooks to screw them in and then the chain can kind of dangle down and then you can hook the earrings into the chain so that is my kind of idea. Um, I would screw these into like the side so that it, you know, they, they stick in the side. But um, this bit on the frame is like really thin and I'm not sure that I'll be able to um, screw it into that and it will hold. So I think um, my safest bet is probably just gonna be to like screw them in here and make like three rows or something like that. Uh, Hi Kiki, see the frame very well, okay, good. Karishma, hello, hi Claire, how are you? Okay, so first thing um, that we're gonna do is we're going to do our decoupage. So as I said, I prepared medium weight chipboard. So this is just like really thick cardboard. I painted it with um, one coat of white acrylic paint so that I can um, decoupage uh, my rice paper onto it and it's gonna be visible. You'll be able to see all of the colors perfectly well because it's, um, if I hadn't painted it, the, um, the color on this side is very, very dark. And so when you um, use glue on rice paper, the rice paper becomes a little bit more transparent so more translucent so you'll be able to see that brown underneath even more and the colors are going to be a, um, a lot muddier on white it's going to look much better um so i'm going to get some glue and we'll get started where's my glue um why did i get this plate out i don't need the plate i need glue my head's a bit in a weird state today because um, I was woken up at five o'clock this morning <laughs> by a child who, he keeps waking up this whole week at five o'clock in the morning, five, six o'clock in the morning saying, oh, mommy, I'm hungry. But then like, I can't get him to eat in the evening, eat enough. Um, so it's been a tough week. So I've got some PVA glue. This is um, trade grade PVA glue, um, wood glue, as you may know it. I typically prefer to use Mod Podge because I like the consistency, I like the quality of the glue. Um, it's just kind of Mod Podge is my preferred decoupage glue. Uh, but I unfortunately ran out and none of the shops around me have Mod Podge at the moment and um, I still haven't ordered it online. So. Um, you know, here we are. <laughs> well, this time you don't have to do the chains. <laughs> so I just apply glue directly onto my um, board. And I'm going to try and apply it um, as evenly as I possibly can so that um, when I glue my paper down, all of the corners and edges are all glued down. So I'm applying a nice coat of glue over the top. It's a large piece of cardboard as well, so you know we have to kind of apply a little bit more glue because by the time I've applied glue um, to the to the last kind of end bits, the glue here at the start is going to be start, uh, starting to like dry up already. So. Um, you have to be kind of quick with this. 
Alternatively, you can use, um, with rice paper, you can also use um, varnish for gluing down or gloss gel or anything like that. And then rice paper is really, really easy to work with as well, which is like one of my favorite things about rice paper is the fact that um, like nothing happens to it. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to put the rice paper down like that and then turn this over so that I can try and um, get that edge nice and even because I always struggle whenever I apply the rice paper over the top um, I always struggle with it not being like in line so okay I placed it on and then I just smooth it out with my hands I always struggle with it not being straight see some of these corners are not glued down properly so I just add a little bit more glue make sure that all of the corners are glued down really nicely how is everybody doing this Saturday night I hope that you're all well that you've had a good week this week there we go so the paper is on now um, you could apply another coat of glue over the top um, or varnish over the top I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna glue down the backing and that's it leave it as is um, and then I'm gonna get my heat gun and give it a quick blast just to um, just to get it nice and dry Eating at the moment. What are you eating, Claire? Very lazy today, though. Holiday weekend here. Oh, it's holiday weekend here as well. Um, it's bank holiday tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, on Monday. Bank holiday here on Monday, so... And then it's um, half term for kids at school as well. So... Miriam, hi! Lasagna, mm, I love lasagna. You can never go wrong with lasagna. We're having steaks and burgers out on the grill. Wow, ah, that sounds yummy. You know what? I just bought a barbecue today. <laughs> so we're probably gonna have a barbecue um, either tomorrow or on Monday, depending on what the weather's like. But um, that does sound yummy. 2.44 p.m. here, Houston. Oh, nice, lunchtime. And now I'm gonna sand this down. I'm using this very, very handy um, nail file. Thanks, Eileen, <laughs> that Eileen sent to me. And honestly, Eileen, like I, I knew that it was handy, using um, nail files and I knew that I would love it but honestly if it wasn't for you I probably would have never had bought um, one of these nail files for myself you know so um, and now that you've <laughs> you have you, you've sent some to me I will never go back I will never go back to doing these kind of things with sandpaper because this is so much easier. Eileen, honestly, I can't tell you um, how amazing it is. Oh, yours isn't till next week. Oh, I didn't know that, that you, um, you have uh, different dates for that. Crafting in the burbs. Hi, it's Alana. Hi, Alana. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. Alana is from Australia. From down under. Okay, so perfect. I've got all of the excess paper off. Now we can... Kind of, this is what it's going to look like, right? 
um, and then we're going to apply the chains. I also thought a cool idea would be to um, use a ribbon and you just, you know, glue ribbon down um, kind of in um, in a few places so that the, you can still hook the earrings in in places. But um, all of the ribbons that I have, I kind of put them next to this paper and none of them looked good. Uh, sorry, I need to sneeze. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, none of them were um, a good match for this particular paper. I don't know, I may try it again once we've painted the frame. So now, you know what I need to do? I need to give this frame a clean. So I'm going to cut a little bit of a cloth off and get some of my... Um, this is kitchen cleaner, actually. Um, so I'm gonna just wipe it down with some kitchen cleaner just to get the any grease and yucks that are on this frame and dust off. Yeah, Eileen, <laughs> they are very handy. I'm good, thanks. Um, Aussie land starting my own craft video soon. Oh my god, really? I need to make sure that I check them out. You should um, drop me a message so that I don't forget when you um, start them or like leave a comment or something when you start them so that I can check them out. Because you know, my memory is like, uh, I'm like Dor what is it? Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Last about 10 seconds. Giving it a wipe. Give this a wipe as well. And then I'm gonna cut another piece of this cloth. And now spray it with some water. And just use water to um, kind of clean off the actual kitchen cleaner off of it. So, um, Ideally, you don't want to leave any kind of um, cleaning products, um, residues or anything like that on your um, on your stuff that you're repainting. That's all I miss that stuff. <laughs> I always have some handy. Um, not that I'm like particularly obsessed with the brand or anything, just um, just what I happen to usually buy <laughs> nowadays. Um, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Um, honestly, like when we first get started, most people aren't very good um to begin with um because there's a lot that you need to learn that you won't be able to learn in any other way other than by starting um and by practicing and making some videos and as you make videos you will learn um how to do it properly so um i'm going to paint the frame in black um that's what i decided <laughs> Um, to start off with and then I think we'll probably play around with some waxes and stuff to um, to show off um, some of the pretties. So I have Paint Couture uh, Baltic Black here which is an acrylic paint. This is the paint that I usually use for when I paint furniture. I really like it. I really like the quality of the paint. I just stir it up before I start painting a little bit and then I go to town with it. We will need to apply a couple of coats, I think, just because I haven't like sanded or applied any kind of primer or anything like that onto, um, onto this thing. So we're gonna have to, uh, well, we'll see how we get on. Um, 
you could use um, any other like acrylic or chalk paint as well or um, gesso like if you're working with a plastic frame I would advise um, priming it or applying some kind of gesso onto it first just so that the paint sticks Let's paint this black. Ah, oh, wish I can stay. We've got to help out on the grill or watch the replay. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and saying hello. And you enjoy your barbecue. You enjoy the grill. Yes, yes, definitely. Well, if you need any like um, help with when you get started, feel free to message me. Um, you know, I'll help out with whatever I can. Um, if I know how to do something, I'm more than happy to to help out if you need um, anything when you get started. It's like 6 a.m. here. I had no sleep, so I'm off to bed oh you enjoy your sleep and i hope that you have a good day when you wake up so it's been a really nice day here finally it actually feels like summer is coming claire how is weather your um your end over there in wales claire lives in wales so um could be some temperature differences, but I, it was so hot. I actually got my summer trousers out <laughs> and flip flops <laughs> and we was repotting some plants earlier today. And it was just so nice to finally be able to go outside and not be freezing cold and not feel like that chill um, in the air and um, not being rained on so I thoroughly enjoyed my day today of repotting some plants and um, doing a load of washing and letting it dry outside and not being worried that it's going to start raining. It's the little things. It's the little things in life. I also took a nap today. So that was a good Saturday for me. <laughs> took a nap this morning. After Aaron woke up. bit nice but more overcast than yesterday ah see it was really really sunny and like proper um, blue skies today here my sister has gone to the Lake District for the weekend with the family and um, it looks like the their end it's still nice weather nice and warm but um, also overcast Oh, so jealous. I want to go to the Lake District too. <laughs> Can't wait. Hopefully, maybe this this summer, if we don't end up in a lockdown um, once again, hopefully then this summer maybe we can um, go camping somewhere. Because I love hiking camping and hiking even if we can manage to go on like a little hike somewhere that would be amazing right okay so I'm gonna dry this and then we're gonna apply another coat another coat of paint uh, not been out at all today oh no you should go outside enjoy the weather <laughs> while it's here because Knowing how it um, how it always turns out here, you know, it's probably uh, not going to last very long. So make sure you enjoy it. So 
Saturday night live stream. If you're here and watching, make sure that you uh, give this video a like. Um, it helps the algorithm know that you know uh, people are enjoying it, and then suggest it to other people that may be on YouTube right now. And so it'll be great if more people will join us. And if you feel like this live stream is appropriate to share um, anywhere on any like Facebook groups that you're a part of or with any friends then make sure that you share it with people that would be very very much appreciated <laughs> okay so the paint is now dry I'm going to apply another coat now Another coat. I just fancy something really, really simple today. I'll be able to camp in the garden now if another lockdown. Yes, that is true. We can camp in the garden, I guess. Um, not particularly the kind of camping that you know I'm, I'm here for. Um, I really, really enjoy camping in places with a view. When you wake up and you come outside and you get an amazing stunning view there's nothing better than that nothing better so i yes i decided that i need to make myself one of these earring holders it was um very much a spontaneous decision tonight I was not planning on doing this at all until um, around about 6 p.m. <laughs> here um, and then it struck me and I was like yes that's it that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go live we're gonna make this thing happen so um, because I don't have any kind of um system to organize my earrings and now that i'm starting to wear earrings again um it's becoming a little bit of a problem that i don't have a system to organize them because i can never find them they get lost and um you know they don't have a place where they live which it's nice that I can wear earrings again because I love earrings. That's like one of my favorite accessories um, to wear in general because I don't typically like to have a lot of things on, on my hands or um, like around my wrist, like bracelets and, and stuff like that because um, they usually get in the way. I don't really like necklaces all that much. Um, I don't like the feeling of things being around my neck. Um, it gets irritating after a while. I can do it sometimes, but not for very long. Um, and for a while, I was not able to wear earrings after I um, I worked at in a call center for about um, one and a half, two years. And so obviously because I had to wear a headset, um, it was really hurting to wear earrings, so I stopped wearing earrings and then that just kind of, I don't know, my ears almost became allergic to earrings. When I, whenever I would put earrings in, my ears were not having it, they would just go all red and painful um, and stay like that for like, um, you know, days and days. And um, so I gradually started to get my ears adjusted to wearing earrings again so you know wear them for a little bit and then stop and wear them for a little bit and then stop and now my ears are finally used to earrings again <laughs> so it's exciting so you know i'm gonna try and build up my collection again oh hello how are you teresa i'm watching this from um from decoupage queen channel as well <laughs> Because for some reason it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't stream from my phone, <laughs> so I had to switch the account. 
Um, so I hope that it's you watching and not just uh, my computer going crazy. <laughs> Hi Susie! Yeah, um, I don't know, it just kept putting an error out so I panicked and <laughs> to do something about it. <laughs> Hi, Belmira from Brazil. Wow. Hi. What time is it in Brazil? Hi, Vicky. How are you? Okay, good. It's you. Um, you'll be happy to see. This is what we're using today. This is gonna, what's going to go inside of the um, inside of the frame. So we have decoupage queen in the chat, and we have decoupage queen paper right here. Um, um, on this um, chipboard, cardboard, I don't know what you call it. This is um, Teal Harlequin. I know, it's um, one of my, it's got to be my, one of my favourite Harlequins. I really like the natural Harlequin and I really like um, this teal harlequin um also black and gold i like harlequins <laughs> but you know lady wolf bram oh oh thank you so much you're so sweet that's so kind of you that's so kind of you thank you for saying hi i told my husband you're awesome and that you said hi he heard you say hi susie i'm shocked <laughs> Oh, not at all. Um, if I if I catch the comment, then of course I'm gonna say hi. I'm not I'm not that rude. <laughs> of course I'm gonna say hi. I'm just happy to see you. Um, I'm happy that people have come to watch what I'm doing. So this is what we're looking at at the moment. So this is the kind of the colours that we're looking at. Um, we have gorgeous teal and some browns and some blacks and some yellows and golds um, here on the paper. And we have a black frame. And I think, um, I think I'm going to use a little bit of peacock and a vintage gold um, waxes on the frame just to show off some of the um, some of the details. And peacock is one of my all-time favorite um, colors, wax colors from Finnebar. Um, and it's a beautiful color that looks like this. I still have it in a tin as well. Oh, it looks very blue on the on camera. It's um, less blue and more teal <laughs> in real life. Um, so this is a decor wax. So it's um, self-sealing. Um, so you don't need to like seal it with anything um, afterwards if you here's the thing if you wanted to um, if you needed to varnish your frame or if you wanted to varnish your frame you would need to do that before you start applying um, the wax so if you want to protect your paint more than I'm gonna do it right now um, typically I would varnish things but honestly lately I've become kind of lazy and um, since I'm making this for myself and you know bloody bloody blah, blah all of the million excuses um, you know I, I'm not gonna varnish this <laughs> I'm just gonna move on straight to the wax um, you can also apply some clear wax um, over the top first if you want to for some extra protection um, but yeah so if you want to varnish it you need to varnish first then wax not wax and then varnish because um, wax is oily um, and your varnish is just gonna ripple off off of it um, it's not gonna work so I'm gonna I don't know whether to use just my finger over the top Or whether to use a brush. I think I'm going to use a brush actually. I always do that. Start with one and then switch to the other. And um, so if you wanted to um, buy a thinner wax, um, 
if you don't already have any or whatever or you're interested in trying them out just um know that nowadays they come in these kind of tubes so it's going to be the same thing i just have this old tin um but nowadays they come in these tubes um which oh, something fell um, which is kind of a permanent change and I know a lot of people are not fans of this change where um, the, the, the waxes now come in tubes rather than um, in tins which I personally prefer tins for usage too but um, the problem is that they the waxes dry out um, a lot quicker in tins so that's why they have switched manufacturing over to um tubes i'll take this out for now it's getting in the way fine i missed you school started and mommy's running oh i missed you too and honestly i get it i get it uh, my son has been not very well this um, this week again, so that's the second time um, that he's been not well in May now, um, which is tough, you know. Um, he he's he caught a cold twice in twenty days, so I get the mommy struggles. <laughs> My five-year-old daughter loves watching your DIY crafts. Can you say hi to her? Her name is Italia. Oh, Italia, that is amazing. Wow, hi, of course, hi. <laughs> Hello, that is amazing that you're five years old and you love watching my channel. That makes me so happy and very grateful that you're interested in watching what I'm doing and hopefully, um maybe um you get inspired by what i'm doing here and um it would be awesome to see you create some stuff one day um and if you do create something uh then maybe your mommy could take a picture and send it to me because <laughs> that would be amazing <laughs> that is very cute can you save the tins and use the tubes to refill them? Yes, you could. You could um, do that. I just, um, you know, it's it doesn't bother me uh, that much to for me to like go to that extent. You could also like just buy empty tins like this or even plastic um, containers like this and just um, refill them or put them into these kind of containers by uh, yourself. All you need to do is just squeeze it out really because it's, it's just like, you know, toothpaste. So yeah, if you wanted to do that, then by all means. Hi Beatrice, how are you? Um, I've never learned French in my life. So, like, I unfortunately can't contribute to the conversation in French as much as I would like to because French is absolutely beautiful. Um, all I know is, um, all I can say is bonjour and merci, I think. <laughs> um, so, but Beatrice, I'm really happy that you made it and that you're here. We have a decoupage princess, that's right. We have a decoupage princess. Italia are amazing decoupage princess. That's so awesome, honestly. It's that just melted my heart. That your little daughter loves watching um, what we do here, and it's just it's amazing. Yes, please, send the pictures to me. I would love to see. Um, what else have I missed? Wax, yes. <laughs> of course. 
you know i love this wax look at it look at it i'm gonna um bring it a little bit closer oh look at that beautiful color i absolutely love this particular wax so peacock wax because it's like it's that color where it's um depending on the angle that you're looking at it it looks a bit more blue and then looks a bit more um green um it's it's definitely like i said one of my favorites all-time favorites oh wow we have a lot of people here that have joined us now hello everybody i know right <laughs> Not just those old ladies. It's no, it really warms my heart um, that the um, the younger generation are also interested and um, you know are watching. That's kind of like my hope that um, I'll be able to get my son trained up and get him into um, into this kind of field as well and get him interested in what I'm doing so that um, he can then. You know, it doesn't have to be the same thing that I'm doing, but just get him interested in the creative side so that then maybe he can express himself in some kind of creative way when he's a little bit older. Um, so that's that's really awesome. Really amazing. Okay, so put some wax on over the black. So just a reminder, we have um, Decoupage Queen um, Teal Harlequin rice paper on here. We have Paint Couture Baltic Black on the frame, two coats. And then we have a Finnebar Peacock Wax, metallic wax um, on the frame. Ah, oh, look at those gorgeous colors. And look at how pretty it's gonna look. So when we, um, when I do the, the chains, ah, yes. I don't know how I'm going to do the chains yet, <laughs> but we'll get there. And now I do want to add some um, gold as well. So I have um, a vintage gold, again, from Finnebar as well. <laughs> right, who are you calling old, Evelyn? <laughs> and I'm just going to add some, um, some of this gold just with my finger over the corners like that so I'm trying to keep it um, just in the corners like that a little bit and then it kind of adds a little a little extra shine and it also echoes the um, the gold in the paper as well so that our paper doesn't look as um, as lonely with all of that gold um, detailing on it and we also have oh that's a bit much wax that's a lot of wax it's okay we can just take a cloth I'm just gonna pick up some of the excess off of it if we get a bit too much Hi from Wales, Maine, USA. Hi, Mary. How are you? Right. Beautiful colours. It's nice to do something a little bit more colourful from time to time. Mind you, um, I do do a lot of colourful projects, so I don't know. Don't listen to me. I am not very good at small talk, so <laughs> sometimes I speak rubbish. I um, I want to say I create a fair amount of colourful projects. <laughs> and this is going to then go on the wall in my bedroom next to my new vanity table. Once I've painted my walls. I still need to do that um, I haven't painted them yet that's my mission for next week I want to paint 
my bedroom next week. So hopefully I can get that done. That would be really nice because at the moment my bedroom is such a mess. It really looks a mess after um, after I took all of that wallpaper off. There's um, like holes that have been filled. So I have like patches everywhere and it, it's really a mess. Um, not very uh, cozy at all. So I need to sort it out. June's, June's Crow Craft. Hi, all oh, prayers from India. Hi, how are you? Shilpi, hi. Um, Monique, hello. I uh, have to find that peacock wax in Athens. It looks so great. You do, yes, <laughs> you do. <laughs> um, a person to ask, um, I imagine Vasilis will probably know where to find it because, um, uh, so he might be the person to ask. Are you going for the old world look in your room? Honestly, I'm not really going for any kind of look um, in my bedroom. <laughs> it's just going to be, um, I'm just going to paint the walls like an off-white um, color. Um, not like a magnolia color, but more like towards gray, like a very, very light um, gray. Um, because the room itself is, is quite narrow. And so we have a built-in wardrobe on this side. Then um, here is like my partner's little man cave um, on this side. And then we have the bed. But because the room is very narrow, there's like very little space on either side of the bed. So honestly, the room is not great. So I need to like, um, at the moment, I'm just focusing on, um, I need to repaint the wall so at least it's livable um, and doesn't look like such a mess as it is at the moment. And then maybe with time, I'll figure out a way to style the room so that it looks fine. Um, so that, you know, it looks a little bit better if um, if I feel like it, but to be honest. Um, but eventually one day when I hopefully buy my own house, <laughs> I would like to go for like a, um, Neo-Victorian, um, eclectic, um, dark, um, dark eclectic, maximalist, um, interior everywhere. So, you know, um, lots of different colours, textures, feathers and greens and pinks and metallics everywhere. So that's the kind of stuff that I would like to have in my house. <laughs> and black and dark green walls and, ah. Um... Honestly, it won't be anything spectacular. <laughs> Still can colour the walls with decoupage paper. Uh, well, I think my partner may have something to say about that. <laughs> right, okay, so I don't know whether to add anything else or just leave it as is. I want to keep it quite plain. Um, I think I'm just going to you know leave it as is at the moment so let me see if i need to glue this in or if i close this is it going to is it going to sit in place yeah that works doesn't it it doesn't stick out too it, it doesn't like fall in too much it's it works absolutely fine so i'm gonna take this back out because this doesn't make it easy to work with it take these back out and then we'll apply the chains so these are um chains for jewelry I bought these on eBay. Um, they're like silver plated, nothing um, amazing, nothing expensive. Should I go? No, this way. Yeah, because we have the Harlequin. Right. 
I need my pliers. Snippity snip. Snippity snip. Let's measure it out. I think I'm going to try and first um, do it with the pins. If I can't get the pins in, then I might have to um, get the screws. But you know why I want to do the pins? I want to do the pins because they have this like big flat um, head on them and I think we could add some extra decor with these, um, with the heads. We could play around with, with that. So I've got the jump ring on here. I'm going to take that off. Put it off. And then I stick the pin in into the end. And where should we go? About here? I don't know. Let's go for a roundabout here and let's try and push it in. Is it going to stick? Probably should have got the hammer out. I don't have anything. What could I use instead that I have around here to push it in? Any ideas? I need something that I can like hit it with. <laughs> Hammer it in into into the there maybe use that. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, no. It's not helping. Okay. I think I may have to get the hammer out later. So I'll kind of, I'm just gonna sit them in like that as much as I can. Oh, in fact, now, if I press it down real hard, I can kind of press it down to, to the point where it actually works. So it's okay. And then I need to, I want this to be quite tight. So this is going to be kind of the tricky part where I need to cut it off in the right on the right bit. I want to say it's going to be this bit. I don't know. So I just measure it out as best as I can and hope that it's not going to be too short. That I haven't just cut off too much. Nope, that's going to be perfect. Right, I'll stand up for this. So I can use some of my strength. Uh, or body weight. To add to this. And try and get it straight. And then we need to... Ah! Press it in. As you can tell, I'm trying to concentrate <laughs> on what I'm doing. And press this in, I think. Oh no, actually, this one w went in quite easily. There we go. So that's one. How many should I do? One or um, two or three? I think maybe just two for now because if I I'll, I'll hang one up here and one down here and then I can always add more right because then if I need some more later on if I find that I'm running out of room then I can always add one in the middle right can you guys still see me and hear me because you have gone awfully quiet and I hope that I haven't like cut out or something and you can still see me and hear me. 
and then I'll go for a roundabout here. Still on? Okay, good. <laughs> you guys scare me when you go all quiet. <laughs> So I'm like, oh no, have I done something wrong? Have they all left? Multitasking. Okay, fair. How are you today, Teresa? Okay, and then I'm going to... I'm not going to... Maybe not this one. This is the tricky part, just making sure that I don't snip off too much. Still here, okay, good, good. Wrapping up the full designs to send off for proofs. Oh my God. That is so exciting. So Teresa's working on the next release of papers. And that is just so exciting. Because with every release, I just get so excited. Every release gets better and better. And it's just amazing. Okay, there we go. So we have... Two. This one's a bit tighter than this one, but the good thing is that um, this is a bit loose, so if I need to um, shorten it, I can, which is, you know, it's better and easier to fix than it would be if it wasn't, um, if it was too short. So that's a good thing. Good, okay, you're all listening. <laughs> it's better for chains, no moving target. Yes, exactly. Are you all, on, ah, yes. Um, we're basically unpacked. We're just kind of working on um, buying all of the things that are still missing um, from our house, you know, um, like some furniture. We bought a barbecue today. <laughs> Still waiting for sofas to arrive. Um, and, you know, just more things like that because obviously it's a new house. So, um, new layout, still trying to work out where things are going to go and all of that stuff. So, I'm going to replace this. The backing. You can always glue it in if you find that it's a little bit loose. If you're making something like that and so this is what we're looking at at the moment i'm kind of tempted to do something with the with the pins there they look a bit you know too much like pins uh what can we do what can we do i wonder if any of my filibra art pebbles could go on top here. So we have several options. Well, two options, really. So I have these transparent diamond looking things, and I have these colorful ones, which, you know, some of them have been glued on before, and um, that's why they have glue on the back of them been taken off so I could like glue them on onto the pins and then it kind of hides the what do you think what do you guys think and then we can do something like that just need to make sure that they're all like the right size right I just wonder if they're gonna stick down I guess if I'm If I super glue them, they should hold on, shouldn't they? What do you think? What is this? Oh, this is an earring holder. 
Yes. No earrings on my boy. Pfft, there's no reason why boys can't wear earrings. Get yourself some. <laughs> okay, bye. Um... <laughs> Spending again. Oh no. <laughs> um bling bling yes micro beads in the bottom corners i think i'll hold off of micro beads for now <laughs> bit of bling make feel <laughs> i think uh boy has left the building i think this is gonna look pretty cool you know if we do this i just need to try and find it and then we'll add some we'll add something 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 extra i just don't know what yet okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna get my super glue out and i'm gonna just go for it and glue them on And then hopefully they will stay. That's the main part. That's my main worry is that they won't stick. Right, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that when I start using this, I can be um, a bit more careful. Um, there we go. Okay, so I need to put these back in now, very carefully. Have I just ruined it? What do you think? What do you think? Right, let's close this. I'm going to try and not touch them for a while. So that they can um, dry. What kind of bling should we add apart from this? Um, I can do metallic flakes, but I I don't feel like metallic flakes are going to suit this very well. Um, jewel paste. Um, metallic paint. Box, some um, I could add some race stencil to this. What do we think? Some race stencil, maybe with something like jewel effect paste or something like that. What do we think? <laughs> no flakes. <laughs> Claire has PTSD from, from flakes. What are we thinking? Okay, let me see. If my stencils. <gasps> Ooh, I need to use these, you know, sometime. Um, these are stencils that my friend, she just opened um, a shop where she sells them. She's in UK. And she sent me some of these stencils to try out and the thing about these stencils is that they are self sticky stencils so they are self adhesive stencils which is pretty amazing so they come with like instructions on the back um, they are uh, made in Ukraine I believe so the Ukrainian brand uh, but they have instructions in both English and uh, Ukrainian here these are reusable stencils, um, they are flexible and they are self-sticky. Um, and the cool thing is that um, as long as you look after them and like after you've used it, you wash it, um, then you can like keep reusing it however many times you want to. So I'm thinking, oh my god, should I try it out? 
Should I try it out? Like this, this side here. Because I haven't had the chance to try these out yet. I really want to, but I haven't had the chance yet. Hi, Catherine, how are you? I think a burnt orange or copper would work well with those colors. Yeah. I know, right? Which is why I'm so excited to try these out because this is a like repositionable um, self-adhesive stencil because um, you can get like these special sprays, spray glues that like make it tacky, but not like so that it doesn't glue on. Um, but like they're so hard to come by. Copper, hmm. Let me see. These are all glued on, yes. Let me see, I'll take this back out. So that's the good thing about not gluing it down. And let's open this up. So it comes with this like backing on it um, and you're supposed to put it back onto this thing onto this um, sheet after you're done using it so once it's dry um, after you've used it and washed it when it's dry you put it back onto this sheet and then you can keep reusing it I think I'm supposed to like cut this bit off because this is a different stencil um, maybe I could do like a a stencil of this over the top of our harlequin and then it's just gonna be like that hanging over the top yes Catherine are you back home now are you done with work can I cut this bit oh because that bit wasn't cut properly so this is very sticky. Oh, it is going to be a little bit tricky to take it off. But let's try it out together. Oh, I'm excited. I love trying out new things. <laughs> it's very sticky. And her shop is um, called Buy Arabesca. I'll link it down in the description after the live stream. So if you're interested, um, and I'll link it when I post the pictures of this. Oh God, this is so sticky. Like I hope that it's not gonna stick to the paper too much. Right, let's put it on. Gonna try and position it, center it like that. Oh no, it should come off pretty easily. And then, what shall we use for the actual race stencil? Huh? Lovely stencil, right? <laughs> Oh my god, 14 hour shift, that is crazy. Yeah, you must be shattered. So, my call would be to use the jewel effect paste. Because, you know, to display jewelry. And I have these two colours. I have the um, crushed amber and golden dust. So, um, well, golden dust is just going to be golden. But the amber... It's like, you know, because um, you did suggest copper, somebody suggested copper, so this is like a really close colour to, you know, copper flakes and stuff, so what are we thinking? Yay or nay? Something sparkly, I agree, something sparkly, definitely. I mean, I could do paint instead and just um, dab on some paints, um, or we could use... Um, what else can we use? Uh, 
golden dragon yes golden dragon paste um, just trying to think of all the sparkly things that I have in my possession yeah I'm thinking that yeah Eileen I agree with you I think we'll go for this um, right so I'm gonna need a palette knife I haven't used this as well so I'm very excited to try it out this is gonna need some stirring up as well because I can see the medium is kind of sitting on top a little bit. I haven't used this amber stuff yet. <laughs> Catherine, I'm not surprised. And I'll put some of this back in here. Right. Try and pick out some of this out of the lid. To not waste the product. Okay, let's do this. Oh, hang on, I just saw a piece of. Um, the stencil that I hadn't been cut out. There we go, I took that out. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Let's do this. It's very like a scratchy and gritty. Because it has like um, crushed beads and sand and stuff like that inside, so it's it's a pretty cool for, um, paste. I don't know whether to do the little rings as well or not, but the um, the cool thing about obviously a self adhesive stencil is the fact that um, you don't get uh, bleed through underneath, so you sh I should be able to get like a really really nice. Um, clean result from this, which we shall see. I bet I would be totally out of it, yes. Oh no, <laughs> he was rooting for gold. <laughs> well, I like to um, experiment sometimes. You know, I, I've had this um orange um crushed amber paste since before it was released out to the public you know so uh and i haven't used it yet so um it has to be done gonna have to like um, when I take it off I'm gonna have to run and um, stick it in the sink quickly right let's take this off let's see what it's gonna look like fingers crossed oh no it's pulled away some of the paper mind you it is my fault because I did not um, because I did not glue or varnish or anything over the top. Oh no, it's pulling away the paper! <laughs> In a few places. It's alright, it's not that visible. But it is my own fault for not varnishing or protecting it in any kind of way, shape or form. Um, so, I guess that adhesive is... A proper adhesive. Oh no, the top is gone. Da da da! Right, okay, we'll have to fix this somehow. We'll find a way to fix this. I'm gonna go and stick this in water um, quickly.
Right, so I put my stencil in water. Uh, always prep the paper first. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, paint with some teal paint over. Yeah. That's mold. Yeah, we can add some molds. Wipe off the other side to match. That could work as well. We could add something, some kind of mold over the top, right? I'm just going to stick this over like that. And we have space here at the top, so we could do something like that. Let me see what I have here in my um, thingy. Thingy majiggy. Hmm. How about that, huh? Let's see. And all of my uh, mold castings, resin bits in here, right? Let me see. Uh, so if I go like that, how much space do I have? Is it going to go over? I wonder if it's gonna get... The earrings should be all right, shouldn't they still? Let's give it a try. Let's do it. If not, I can always like hang the earrings on this side and then just add another chain in the middle. Okay, so we need to prep this with some gesso before we paint it. What color should I do it? I think I'm going to do it um, to match the... I'm going to do it to match the um, frame. Or do you think I should do it a different color, like a gold, more gold? Or black and um, peacock? Move the top chain down more. Yes, I c yeah, actually, that's a good idea. <laughs> um... See, that's why it's good to do these kind of streams all together. Because then um, there's clever people in the room that can advise some stuff. I'll go for black gesso. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> black gesso. I'm going to use black gesso because um, this is plastic. Um, you know, so I want to give it a bit more adhesion over here. This is a, if anybody's wondering, this is a casting from a redesign with Prima mold. And I will show you which mold, if I find it, um, when, hang on, when I've um, painted this. So while it's drying... I'll get the mold out and I'll show you which exact mold it is from. Catherine blue green, yep. So we just used um peacock and vintage gold waxes on the frame. And I think I'm going to go with like black and then peacock over the top and then just more gold um, over the top of this, you know, than on the frame. So just accentuate it with gold a bit more than the frame. Love black. Yes. <laughs> nice and chunky. Yeah. I think the bird color would be nice. <laughs> what well, the peacock. <laughs> That is exactly what we used on the frame, the peacock and the um, the vintage gold. You know, my two my two favorite waxes. <laughs> so let's quickly get this done. So as you guys see. Um, it's nice to experiment. Now we learned something new all together. 
um, that if you're going to use these um, self-adhesive stencils, make sure that you protect your paper first, which I mean, it did cross my mind that this may happen. But, you know, I decided to risk it. So it's not the fault of the stencil at all. It's my fault for um, not... Um, not going through with, you know, the proper procedures and me being lazy really more than anything. So, um, other than that, like look at the beautiful straight lines and you don't usually get that kind of result with just normal stencils. Yeah, oh yes, Monique, that's a really good idea. <laughs> See, you're full of them. You're full of great ideas. What time is it for you, Monique? Looks nice, mind. Uh, as I like a distressed age look to things. Yeah, that is true. Can yes, <laughs> I wish that I could speak Swedish too. Um, my English was nowhere near as good as your English is. You know, being this, being somebody that lives in Sweden, um, rather than in an English speaking country. Um, before I moved to UK. Um, my English was nowhere near as good as your English is, you know, being um, somebody that lives and is a native speaker of a different language. So um, that is amazing that, you know, you speak, speak so well in English. 4.45 p.m. That'll be why then. That'll be why you're full of great ideas because it's still early for you. <laughs> It is um, almost 10 p.m. here um, for me. Oh my god, what is that sound outside? Somebody's... There's fireworks or something going on outside. Crazy. Never know until you try. Exactly. Makes sense, but with a sharp mind. <laughs> You pull your hair out. The memory if I keep saying Dory, but my family called me Dory too. <laughs> uh, it's because, Claire, you and me were both the same. <laughs> we're like from this, we're the same breed. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Oh, thanks, Monique. I have been here a while now, so. <laughs> um, and it's kind of like my main language that I use nowadays anyways. So it would be, it would be weird if I didn't speak all right <laughs> or more or less all right. Came out the same pod, but years apart. Exactly. I'm actually working on my bauble project. Oh, I'll watch it. Oh, I can't wait to see it. We just finished the workshop yesterday with the um, with the Alice in Wonderland um, acrylic heart bauble. So we did the workshop yesterday. So Evelyn's working on hers, getting ready for the um, final review, which is something that we do in my workshops. Um, we kind of set a date for when we're going to come back and do another live stream after the workshop has ended. And then um, whoever manages to finish their project by then, send their pictures in and then we can all have a look together, which is a very, very fun part um, of the workshops. 
and I like that we get to come back to it and kind of have a little bit of a closure um, for for what we achieved. Okay, so that's the uh, mold painted in black. I am going to get my heat gun out and give it a quick blast. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and find the um, the mold that this thing came out of. There it is. Okay, I found the mold. It is this mold from Redesigned Prima called Tilden Flourish. So that's what it looks like. Let's get it out. Um, out of the packet. So this is the bit that we're making. Hi, my name is Leather Southport. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Good, I'm glad that I get you to um, use English. <laughs> Still working on my box from the very first class, so I'm not ahead. <laughs> Happy with it so far, I'm just about to finish up the details on it. Oh good, I can't wait, you, sh you need to post some pictures in the group. Oh Jesus. Yet to participate in that part, always most behind. Yeah, but you're a busy lady. You have a lot of other stuff going on, so like I really can't blame you for being most behind. And like to be honest, I I also take part in like a lot of people's workshops, and um, I also am behind on quite a few of them. So you know, you're not alone in that. Uh, Lanterns and canvas to do. Oh, lanterns, yeah. I can't wait for um, Christmas um, workshops. I think we're going to have to do some early Christmas workshops this year. So um, I, I, like, I want to do a, a Christmas workshop sometime in June or July. Is it like Christmas in July? Is that a thing? That is a thing, isn't it? We should do a Christmas in July workshop. Hi, Terry! From California usually I'm not able to catch your lives yeah cuz um, I have been doing them in the mornings lately but um, I just I thought I have to do it tonight whatever happens I have to do it <laughs> so here I am I'm so glad that you're here okay so that's dry okay this thing let's see so okay I can kind of place things on top now because that's almost dry. Let me see what we're looking at and how far we need to place it. So if I put this in like that. Oops! No cat. Yes, you! Caught in the act. Trying to scratch his nails on my bookshelf. Cheeky bugger. Guess you. Mm-hmm. Honestly, this guy. And now he's jumped on the back of my chair and he's all... <laughs> yes, July. I agree. It would be good to make some early Christmas gifts. Yes, so I'm going to have to move this a bit lower. Can I get them out though? That is the question. I got one out. First time on the live. Well, you're welcome. Welcome to the live stream. <laughs> okay, so I got them out. I'm going to have some holes here. I might have to add something extra here then to cover them holes. But then, so I'm going to place the, I'm going to put the mold here. You 
use a palette knife with some copper yeah um, I shall do that in a minute so I'm gonna have to place this I'm gonna place this here I think Squeeze this in. This is not easy, you guys. Like squashing these in. He is telling me. <laughs> He is definitely, this cat has some attitude, I'm telling you. Quite some attitude. Okay. Where is the line? Around about here. Glue rhinestones to the holes. Yep, yeah, maybe. I scratched a bit of paint off of here. Okay, there we go. So, okay, so I stood up and he just took up the whole seat. Go away, please. Thank you very much. Right, so. Um, okay, I'll move this. Right, so palette knife. Yes, we should use the palette knife to um, just add some extra bits and pieces here. Nah, I don't, <laughs> I don't use <laughs> um, rulers. Okay, let's just add a few. Whenever I try to not go for a grungy look, I still end up going for a grungy look. So, well, what are you gonna do? Huh? It's the universe telling me. Stay in your lane, lady. Stay in your lane. gonna add some little bits here and there You can't even see it. And then we're gonna place this over the top and you definitely won't be able to see it. Hi, and leather from Southport, remember me? I need to talk to Christina from Facebook. Um yes. How can I help you? Is that is that right? Um well, I don't really have a straight eye in my head either. <laughs> right, so let's put some of that uh, peacock on top here. So i just get my brush back out. First, put some peacock over the top of all of this beauty looks great you can't tell there was a boo-boo exactly there's so many ways to fix these kind of things really So, 
let's go over here. Ah, it looks so beautiful. Just this color alone is already gorgeous, right? Ah, beautiful. And then we're gonna add some. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Monique. Add some gold over the top. Yeah, I know, Peacock is just the best. Gold over the top. And I love how when the gold and the peacock, they mix together, they just create such a beautiful um, like color um, gradient. Honestly, I'm telling you, it's literally my favorite. No better color combination than this. I need to wipe my hands on something. gonna get my heat gone back out oh just stuck my finger in the in the paste in fact now before I dry this I'm going to once again Put this over the top, kind of ish, and then I'm going to put some glue on this thing and I'm gonna glue it down. Which way do I glue it down? This way or this way? That is the question. The million dollar question for tonight is which way do I glue it down? With the like the crowny bit up. Or down. Mm. Up or down. I'm thinking this way. I think this bit is supposed to go on top. Uh, where's my super glue? Some super glue on. back I can't put the frame on right now because it's going to um, stick to it, so I'm just going to go at like a safe distance of where there's going to be enough space. Ah, my fingers got stuck to the glue a little bit. Because the paste is all um, still wet. I can't put the frame on because it's going to touch the frame um, and like the chains and everything. Oh no! Some glue. Honestly, I hate this glue. I need to buy some new super glue because this stuff just leaks everywhere. It's so bad. But like, I already have it, so <laughs> I don't want to buy a new one. Okay, now I'm gonna dry this. I would like to buy mold. How do I do that? Um, I, I don't, there are shops that sell molds. I'm pretty sure I've sent you links to shops where I buy molds before. Um, there isn't really much more that I can do 
um, to, to help you buy molds. Um, if you drop me a message on Facebook, um, I can send you the links to the shops where I buy molds again. But like I said, like I have a few molds on my website, um, which I'm about to stop like all of the, um, I've, I've, I've been selling like little bits of hardware and molds and stuff like that um, through my website over the past year, but like I'm about to stop all of that and take everything off in general. Um, so um, I can direct you to the shops where I buy molds and that's about it really. Deb, hi from New Zealand. What medium did you use in the mold? I used um, two part uh, fast cast resin. I'll show you which one I use. If I can get it down. This is the stuff that I used. Um, it's called Polycraft SG2000 PU casting resin. So it comes in two parts and then you mix it all together and, and pour it in. Right, okay. Let's hope this will fit. Yep. So it does fit, which is good. You know, is it straight? That is the question. Um, okay. Here we are. Um, once, because this, this, um, there's a bit of like thick, uh, paste here. Um, it's going to take a little while to dry. So, um, once this is dry, I may go over all of this. In fact, I'll show you a little bit now. Where's my black wax? I have black patinating wax, which um, I usually use for all of my black patinating needs. So it's by a brand called Liberon. And I'm going to take a brush. And I'm going to just kind of go over the outlines outside of the mold a little bit with the um, with the dark wax to create a little bit of a shadow um, underneath so that then it doesn't look as like stuck on. So like random, it just, it's going to look a little bit more natural. Does anybody speak Portuguese? That is a good question. Um, so if anybody speaks Portuguese and can help, um, that would be great. So I just kind of do that and create a bit more of a shadow. I may have to go over here with um, with gold again later on. So I can't go over the top here because that is still wet. Um, like that and then also maybe add some shadow on the sides like this. The black wax. Ah, that ripped. That ripped. Come back. Come back. What happened? Oh, that. Oh, the um, the little chain thing must have been a bit loose. You know what? I'll have to put it back because otherwise it's too um tight. So I'll have to put it back in and then squeeze it together. Gonna 
squash it like that. And then try and stick it in again. I have almost squashed it now. <laughs> this is fiddly. The sheen on the frame is beautiful. I agree. Oh, now I always squashed it. Hate these little tiny holes. <laughs> tiny hoops. Now you're feeling my pain with the chains. <laughs> mm, I do. Oh, that was me the first time around too. When I created the first hot air balloon, um, that was me too. You know? Uh, there we go. Back in. Now I can squash this back inside. There we go. Right, so what was I doing? Okay, I should probably put this in now. Again. Been trying molds with paper clay, it's so fiddly. Ah, oh, yes, paper clay. Um, I've heard things about it. Um, that people struggle with paper clay. I'll probably just use a natural bristle brush for this here, make it a little bit easier for myself. And add a little bit of a Shadow on the inside, as you do. Well, as I like to do, I always like to add extra shadows and um, extra things like that because I think they just they make all of the difference, um, kind of in the in making um, the whole thing flow, the whole creation look the part and look like it's been put together for a reason and like it's been there for a long time. Well, all I can ask is, could we have a good break from chains and possibly worms? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Chains, yes, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Um, you might have to bribe me a little bit better than that though, Claire. Um, uh, I told you, I should have waited. Why do I never listen to myself? I should just wait, I can't finish this right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I can even go over the bottom of this a little bit more. I'll have to try these stencils out again sometime in the live stream soon. Let's fix this little hole that I created. There we go. And then I'll go over this with a little bit of gold again. that black patinating wax did get um, 
here and there in places over the over the gold and stuff so it just kind of dulled it down a little bit well and i think we are there about almost finished i'm just gonna have to um once like this top part is fully dry um i'm gonna have to go over here with um with a little bit of the black wax to finish it up um over here to add the like the shadow under the mold and that's it really um Oh, thanks, Monique. <laughs> Do you use a release agent with the resin in molds? No, I don't. They usually pop out um, as they are fairly easily. I'm afraid I can't. I won't be able to call. Um, I don't offer phone calls. Um, you can send me a message. to amaze oh thank you um right it looks a little bit um like gothic -y. um alternatively i'll turn <laughs> alternatively <laughs> old frame um let me just turn this around hello it's me i'm back so there's the frame there's the finished result um Thank you so much for joining me um, for this um, little um, DIY session um, late at night um, on a Saturday night. Thank you for spending your Saturday night with me. I will um, take some pictures tomorrow and post it and um, all of that once it's um, completely finished. And then uh, I'll look right now. Let's try it out. Ta-da! It works! <laughs> it works. Uh, that is the main thing. That it works. I just really love this colour combination. I love the teals and the gold together and the copper was a great suggestion, even though it's not really copper, it's amber, but uh, still, it's the same thing, isn't it? So um yeah well thank you so much for joining me tonight um i really enjoyed this uh well uh, like i said i'm gonna be doing more live streams like this um here on the channel now um rather than pre-recorded videos oh one thing before i go um of course my next workshop how can i go without a little bit of self promo so this is going to be our next workshop this is what we're going to create um on my next workshop um this is a box um we're gonna be learning all about raised stencils uh molds and clay there's um one step crackle two step crackle on the inside we aged with wax we're gonna create um the bow um and all sorts of things it's going to be a three evening workshop so just like we had a session tonight it's going to be basically the same kind of thing but in a private group on facebook um where again you get to ask any questions that you like and um bonuses of course if you can't join in um at the time when i'm doing the um the workshop so if it's a, if you're in a different time zone etc you can't make it to the live stream you can still watch it whenever and um you can um once you buy a workshop from me once you sign up for a workshop you are kind of my student for that workshop forever so um if you decide to make one like six months down the line and you figure that you have questions regarding a workshop regarding one of these then um, feel free to message me and I will be there to answer because um, then you have officially become one of my students so um, this is going to be our next workshop um, if you are interested in signing up um, or finding out more information anything like that um, just go to my website I've put a link in the description of this video so if you just scroll under the video you'll be able to find the link 
Uh, do I have a link I can post for the workshop? <coughs> yes, it's just in the description on the um, under this video. I actually I should be able to just drop it um, in the comments. Just give me one second. Um, move the super glue out the way because that's a little bit dangerous here. <laughs> uh, workshops. There it is. That's gonna come as um, as a decoupage queen link or from decoupage queen, but it's gonna be for my website, of course. Sorry, my computer's a bit slow. As always, it's getting on a little bit. I need a new computer soon. <laughs> there we go. There's the link in the comments. So yeah, if you're interested in taking part in this, check out the link for more information and you can sign up. Uh, message me if you have any questions and I will see you guys really, really soon. Again, thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you soon. Bye. How do I turn this off? Bye.